So some of you may remember a series I used to do on this channel where I talked about different Toontown theories. One of the videos I made in this series was about funny farms in the old Toontown map. I'm bringing this up because recently there's been a pretty big breakthrough in this mystery. A few weeks ago, thanks to a user by the name of Loopy Goopy Google Nerd, the Twitter page for Jesse's show released this image. This is the original Toontown map from the trailer, which in it you can clearly see the three missing playgrounds in Funny Farms. Now this is pretty incredible and I'd like to take the chance in this video to examine it a bit. For starters, this really gives us a lot of perspective into just how the map evolved over time, with changes in streets and the location of the COG HQs. It's also interesting how this shows us that the old Cellbot and Lawbot HQ areas are technically sort of still on the map, just blurred out and drawn over. Looking at Funny Farms itself, things get a little bit more interesting. In my original video, I talked about how the racecourse Airborne Acres could be related to the playground Funny Farms, seeing how the two are close to each other on the map, and given how all three of the other tracks are themed around some already existing playground. Airborne Acres is the only one that doesn't have a match, but this reinforces my idea that the Funny Farms could have been the playground that this area was designed after. Knowing how the other tracks pick up their designs, maybe this could tell us how the designs and streets of Funny Farms could have looked. Speaking of those streets, I can't help but notice how similar the tunnels near the COG HQs look to the tunnels for the playground streets. It makes me wonder, could there at some point have been COG streets too? It's a stretch, but it seems to me like this map puts a lot more of an effort into showing these streets than the final one does. The one thing I don't think anybody saw coming though was the construction zone. When I first saw this area, I wasn't completely sure what to think. The first thing that came to mind was that sign in Acorn Acres. You know, the playground that took its spot four years later. There have been plenty of rumors as to what the sign was intended for, but looking at it now, I wouldn't be surprised if this was nothing more than a small reference for what was originally planned there. Given how we've always assumed that the term construction zone was just a placer name like how Chippendales was once outdoor zone, this seems to me like a fairly close connection, and it's not like there was much space to build out on the map anyway. In the end, I can kind of see why these regions were removed. They don't really fit in with the other playgrounds, but it's still always fun to speculate what could have been, and I'm sure we'll see a lot of creativity as the community takes up these ideas and tries to make something new out of them. I mean, if Toontown Rerouten was already ahead of the curve with the black and white playgrounds, then these are just two more easy options. These are just my first impressions I wanted to share, and if there's anything you think I'm missing, feel free to let me know in the comments. Once again, I'd like to give a shout out to Loopy Goopy Google Nerd, for whom this video would not be possible without. He was the one who originally broke news of the map, and he has his own video right here. If you want to hear more about the history of the map itself, I advise you check it out.